Hello there, Brother Monroe here. Um, welcome back to... Well, I'm recording this uh, the day after the Taskmaster videos come up. And I will sh hopefully get it uploaded today. So yesterday's Taskmaster video, link in the description down below, along with all the other guys who had a go. Um, now, I haven't done this before, but I'm going to have a go again at the Taskmaster. Obviously, it doesn't count. Um, because the person who wrote the Taskmaster um, challenge for us... Um, posted a comment on my video saying, um, I'll just put up. So this is, uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but M E A N D W. Um, kind of disappointed that no one, well, he's just disappointed, but you know, um, they had a strategy in mind. Um, and I wanted to try it out. <laughs> um, so. Just as a reminder, we had this Spanish fleet, four battleships, four heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, and eight destroyers. Now, um, there's 48 points if you kill everything, and no one managed that. Um, so this is our aim, and we get 20... Is it 20 or 25 points to start with? It was 20. Nope, 25. So we get 25 points, and a battleship costs 10. And I went for two battleships, and I did the worst. Uh, History Guy Gaming also went for two battleships, but he did very, very well. He got um, 41 points, I think. Um, now, every day is different, went for six. And you're saying, well, how can you afford six? That's 60 points. Um, and what he did was he was like, well, I start with 25 points, but I get three points for transport. So if I bring 10 transports, that's another... 30 points. So now I have 55. Oh, what happens if I bring 20? <laughs> and you can start to see where this is going. So with 20 transports, that's an extra 60 points, which pays entirely for those six battleships. But there's nothing to stop you doing this. Getting, say, 50 transports. That's 100 and... Um, 50 points spare, which means that I can get 15 battleships. And in addition, I can increase the range because one thing that none of us used, we can use points to increase the range a thousand meters per point. So I still have 25 points left. I can increase the range by 25,000 meters. Putting it all the way up to 40. Now this is interesting. Because I don't think those Spanish battleships are even going to be in range of my transports. And if I kill everything, then I get 48 points. And that would be enough to win. Um, so I'm really curious to see if this actually works. Um, and none of, none of us kind of went for anything silly like this. But I thought, I thought it would be fun. Too many ships might affect performance. <laughs> Yes, let's go. Uh, now, I went with the Dreadnought 4. I was pretty happy with how it turned out, but um, all the other guys went with the N3G3. So, we'll go with the N3G3. Make it nice and big. Um, just just for a difference, really. Um, just for a slightly different build. Let's see now. Um... What kind of guns can I fit? Uh, probably go with 15s. Because I just need the standard of it. Let's get a secondary barbet in here. And I do like this trick of putting the 9 inch. Guns on top for super duper firing at the front. Um, and out of interest. No, they don't. But 12s. Not too big. What more nines? No, I have to go with actual secondary guns. Uh, are they Mark 4s? Let's go with the Mark 5s then. Yeah, 
Here we go. <laughs> uh, in the good old Nelson tradition. All right, funnels. Uh, yep, funnel can only fit one. I might as well go with the best one. Um, let's see now. I'd love to do the same on the back, but I don't think that's going to let me. What happens if I get rid of that tower? Do with a this one. Nope, still doesn't fit. This one? Yeah, there we go. Worth it. <laughs> so we can do this. Enjoying this. Aft weight offset is rather enormous. Um, just uh, redo these. Move the tower, front tower. Forwards. Now we have a four weight offset. Oh, great. Well done. To rotate turrets, by the way, if you have the game and you're wondering. Okay, move this back. Oh no, that's too much. Hold on. One percent four weight offset. There we go. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> oh my. Um, okay, can I fit any more of those seven inch triples? Yeah, I can. Mm. Can I fit them up here? Oh, I can. Oh, magnificent. Oh, yes, I'm enjoying this. Right. Um. <laughs> Out of interest. <laughs> uh, this is a very silly ship. Uh, it's not quite in the right place. And now we have four weight, weight offset again. Um, This is a dramatically silly ship. I love it. Right. <laughs> oh, yes. Right. Any more guns I can fit on this ship? Fives? Nope. Or maybe, but... I want to fit just like one of them. Ah, fours, there we go. Threes, nope. Twos, nope. Nope. No, that's it. Okay, it's still quite quite a beefy, uh, <laughs> quite a beefy, beefy armament of ship. Oh, my days. Right, okay. Now we've got to make the rest of the ship work. Um, right, bulkheads maximum, obviously. Uh, let's have a look. Let's go with forced boilers. Maybe bounced. No, we'll go with forced. Can we go to 26? Yeah, 26 knots will be fine. Uh, double geared steam turbines, oil. Um, anti top 5, just in case. Triple 
Good in anti tool three, group four armor, maximum barbit thickness, auto reloading turrets, radar. Um, probably going to want to stay at range, so we'll go with the stereoscopic and the sonar three. Um, explosive type. I'm going to go with my stand, standard tube powder setup because I, I am a fan of that. A um, little bit more belt armor if we can manage it. Uh, a little bit more tower armor. And a bit more on the deck extended. Ah. Oh, well, no, I can uh, I can cheese this. Short range. Um, that would let us get a little bit more on the deck extended. Yes, good, good, good. And perhaps something else handy. Mm -hmm. uh, just maybe a little bit more regular deck armor. Seven inch. There we go. There we are. Uh, <laughs> the HMS Bulwark and the Bulwark class. It's, um, that's that's a ship and a half. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do an overhead shot of this one because that is uh, that, that is quite the ship. Hold on. Uh, whoops. Okay, and screenshot button. Try and get it centered. There we go. Lovely. Turn the HUD back on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's try it out. <laughs> oh, man. Some good names there. Oh, my God. All the transport. Okay, there might be a little bit of slowdown on this. <laughs> okay. Enemy smoke spotted to the north. All those trans. Oh, that's actually perfect. Look, all the transports are in a big blob over there. Absolutely fine. Right, Temeraire, your division. Start moving north. You too, Nelson. And you too, Dreadnoughts. Oh, good names. Good names. Right. Oh, so many ra So much ramming. <laughs> uh, I can't control the transports, by the way. They're just doing their own thing. <laughs> oh, the anti-collision system in this game is just genuinely dreadful at the moment. Look, look at Dreadnought. Like, look how far out she's going to... Oh, 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 firing. Enemy in sight. Enemy in sight. Right, Dreadnought. Coming like this. Nelson, like that. Temeraire, like this. Let's get all those guns firing. It can slow down to 20. from Dreadnought's group, which I want to keep going. <laughs> uh, 1.9 rounds a minute. 3.76 rounds a minute. Four and a half. Damn. I love rapid firing guns. So love. Absolute ton of secondaries on these ships.
<laughs> now, what's this? Heavy cruiser? Or a light cruiser? Not sure. No torpedo tubes. Uh, that is a battleship. Oh, now! Oh, yeah. Now you give it stu a stupid. Uh, actually, that's kind of fun, but a stupid gun layout. Now, oh, yeah, yeah. When I yeah, when I build a super mega battleship, you go and build something s stupid. And when I ah uh, game. Hell is the why what? Oh my goodness, the station keeping. They're part of uh, Nelson's group, aren't they? Goodness knows. Anyway, the fighting Temeraire and the Nelson. Leading the uh, leading the attack. Just with the fifteen inch guns at the moment. Nice. Flinging shells. Not much in the way of hits at the moment. Really not much in the way it fits at the moment. Oh my god, look at that. Oh no, there's one. I think, yeah, it must be lighter ships that we're firing at. An absolute metric ton of fire coming in. Oh, that was a good hit. Is that a battleship? No, that's a cruiser of some sort. <laughs> um, Admiral, <laughs> we are under fire. <laughs> oh, they shot at us. Oh, how shocking. Oh, the nine inch guns have opened up now. Yeah, whatever's firing at there. Uh the Temeraire is not firing particularly scary things. Uh, this ship is uh, not having a good day. And dead. Not a battle cruiser. Looks like one of their battleships has moved in. Ah, what's this? This is a light cruiser. <laughs> oh, I love it. Right, okay. <laughs> seven inch haven't even gotten involved yet. How, how long until they're in range of the seven inch guns? 
out of pure curiosity. Oh, they're close to it. That battleship must have really thick armour. Um, in that we're getting partial penetrations on it. I'm starting to see some smaller shells coming in. Oh, it's Audacious's group that's being stupid. There we go. like the seven inches swinging into action very slowly there goes uh, cruiser ah here we are here's that battleship Wow! Wow! Those, that is a heavily armoured ship, 20 inch belt. Maximum bulkheads. No torpedoes. Oh well, we'll uh, keep just pounding away. <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> oh. Certainly take can take hits. Oh, there goes a light cruiser. And what was probably a destroyer. Game saying TV question mark. There goes another one. Destroyers might be hard to hit, but when you throw this many shells at them, there goes another one. <laughs> and another destroyer. And another one. <laughs> Light cruisers don't have any torpedoes either. Interesting. Hmm. 
There goes another light cruiser. Heavy cruisers don't have any uh, torpedoes either, just the destroyers. Interesting. Again, could have done with that in the actual Taskmaster video. <laughs> and this is why you only get one take. Because uh, eventually you'll uh, figure out a good solution. So and you, if you try, try again, try again, then you'll. It's not as fun. Although I have to say that this is quite amusing. <laughs> Yeah, those battleships, though, they are impressive in terms of how brick-like they are. I mean, it must be like Swiss cheese by now. Places they're using white powder. Yeah, not much chance of getting a flash fire or anything like that then. Your group can come round. Audacious, so can yours. And Dreadnought, your group as well, can uh, come back just a tad. Centurion here, firing away merrily. Although well, I think I made a mistake with this turret, it doesn't seem able to move. Should have double checked that. cruiser there I think sunk by accident <laughs> as it got too close to an enemy bat uh, enemy battleship that we were firing at it's going to be even faster Shh. Uh. Another heavy cruiser. <laughs> that destroyer's not looking very healthy. Nope. Just the battleships to kill off. Reginair Ren D is pretty much done for. There we go. That will almost certainly kill her.
Got another battleship coming in. Fernando the seventh. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's that heavy cruiser. One heavy cruiser and the battleships left. <laughs> oh my. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, <laughs> can take a beating that shit. Battleships just do not like dying, do they? <coughs> Millie, shush, I'm recording. And what Centurion thinks she's doing? Blam, 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 blam. Pure HG. See how that works from the the Collingwood uh, and her group here. I mean, I wouldn't want to be on this ship. <laughs> Look at that deck armor as well. Crazy. I've never. Sh I haven't seen the uh, AI produce um, a vessel that is built like that before. It's really cool. I mean, we'll get them eventually, simply because, I mean, we have thousands and thousands and thousands of shells to throw at them.
and eventually the armor will crack. Empress of India, I've got a job for you. Fast these things. 25 5. At the same speed as mine, then. Looks like the uh, Fernando the Seventh has finally given up their um, attack, I guess. Which do I have to get? Uh, belt penetration 48. Uh, theirs is 40 ish. Yeah, I just need to get really, really close to them, I think. And then we'll start doing some proper damage. Sounds hard though. My goodness. I thought this was going to be a quick video. These battleships are absolutely taking a pounding. Ridiculous. Like, this, the Venkador is uh, pretty badly damaged. Fernando is pretty badly damaged. San Francisco's full health. San Francisco taking fire now. Ten 
Can we get out of ammunition on a nine inch? Some damage on the San Francisco there. Oh, come on. <laughs> At least one of these. There's 20 points sitting here. Melly, shush! Oh, I'm gonna have to go sort her out. Melly! I am recording a video and you are not being very helpful. Finally killed about two battleships. Millie, no, you made me miss it, damn it. Yes, bleh. Millie, shush. Yeah, it seems, uh, actually Collingwood took a bit of a, actually took some damage there. San Francisco trying to get away, I think. Hard to tell. Which one's gonna go first? San Hem whatever, uh, or the San Francisco? Can't quite read it because of the thingies going up. <laughs> so silly. Oh no, there she goes. Finally, the San Francisco's down. Okay. Just the San 
Hamengildo. Hamengildo? I can't pronounce that. To go. Looks like it's going to be up to the Illustrious as the closest ship. Although Orion is pretty close as well. Flooding all the way along the ship. And there she goes. Okay. Oh my goodness. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> That's how we were um, perhaps supposed to approach it. Um, I really like this ship. Um, I'm just going to, just for my own uh, satisfaction, I'm just going to fix this turret so that it could actually fire. Uh, there we go. I'll retake the screenshot. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that ship. I hope you enjoyed that too. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, check out my other uh, Ultimate Admiral videos. Um, I have playlists of them and stuff like that. Um, as well, make sure you have watched all the other Taskmaster guys um, and their attempts this week. Um, and then, um, as well, if you're feeling particularly nice, you I do cover other games as well. And I also have a Patreon page uh, supporting the channel. Um, I'm currently trying to get enough support to um, become a naval architect over on Stealth Seventeen's channel. So if you feel like helping out with that, I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and goodbye.